Hello, this is Deborah. On this past New Year's Eve, the sun blasted the biggest X flare of Solar Cycle 25 so far. It was an X5 flare. The eruption produced a wave that rippled across the sun's face. It produced a coronal mass ejection, or CME, a clump of superheated matter that blasted off the sun. At first, it was thought this material would strike Earth with a glancing blow, but it missed us. So what are X-flares, and can X-flares harm us? Flares on the sun happen where there are dark areas called sunspots. That's where the sun's magnetic fields are strongest and most complex. Scientists classify flares according to their strength. The little ones are B-class, followed by C and M-class. X-flares are the biggest solar flares. In 2003, an X-flare occurred that was so powerful, it overloaded the sensors intended to measure it. The sensors cut out when the flare was at X-28. It was later estimated to be an X-45 flare, the strongest solar flare ever recorded in the year 2003. And we know there have been even bigger solar flares in the past. The biggest X-flares are, by far, the most powerful explosions in our solar system. Loops of solar material, tens of times the size of Earth, leap up off the sun's surface as the sun's magnetic fields cross over each other and reconnect. In the biggest X-flares, this reconnection process can produce as much energy as a billion hydrogen bombs. So, can these big flares from the sun harm us here on Earth? Scientists say B and C flares are too weak to affect Earth in any noticeable way. But we know both M flares and X flares can cause brief radio blackouts on Earth. That's happened a lot recently because the sun is now near the peak of its 11-year cycle. Likewise, in recent months, as the sun nears its peak activity, possibly in 2024, both M and X flares have released CMEs, clumps of solar material, that sometimes fly toward Earth. When CMEs do strike Earth, they disturb our planet's magnetic field, causing beautiful displays of auroras. So aurora watchers look forward to X flares. But what about our bodies? Some people say they're affected by solar flares. But so far, as long as we stay on Earth's surface, there's been no scientific evidence of harm to our human bodies from solar flares. On Earth's surface, our planet's atmosphere protects us from harm. On the other hand, big flares and their CMEs have been known to disrupt earthly technologies, such as power grids and satellites. That's one reason scientists monitor for X-flares, and they say that with advance notice, there's a system in place for protecting many satellites and spacecraft from the worst effects of most magnetic storms. If you want to follow flares on the sun, join us for daily sun news at earthsky.org. We're Earth Sky, and I'm Deborah Bird. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.